Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Well, welcome to March and belated welcome to March. Uh, for, forgive me my being involved in different projects, but uh, welcome to the month of March. I pray that this word would uh, minister to your heart, minister to your soul, be a blessing and an encouragement to you in Jesus' name. Well, quick as a flash, I'm saying, Lord, what do you have for the month of March? And he shows me an eye and an ear, an eye and an ear. And from this, you know, I begin to understand that it's a month to walk in greater sensitivity to the Spirit of God than you've ever walked in before. Be sensitive to Him. Be able to pick the, the drop of a pin. Be able to see in the name of Jesus. You know, as this word goes forth, I believe that your perception, spiritually and physically, is increasing in Jesus' name. There's an increase in the level of spiritual sensitivity that you are called to. But also, as I meditated on what the Lord may mean by showing me an eye and an ear, it also means that you'll be able to see through people. You know, there's a sense I, I, I saw right through that. In other words, a project or a person or someone's trying to spin something and it wasn't quite right in the month of March. You won't be deceived. You will see through it in Jesus' name. Paul prayed for the church in Ephesus, Ephesians 1 verse 17 down, for a spirit of wisdom and revelation, the eyes of hearts being enlightened and open and flooded with light. And so thank you, Lord, for discerning of spirits, the ability to see into the very real but physically invisible realm, the very real spiritual realm. Thank you for that grace upon your sons and your daughters. I remember the first time that my eyes were open, the eyes of my spirit were open to begin to perceive uh, angels. I'd been in America on a 40-day period just, just seeking God and going from conference to conference. And I became aware of when an angel would come into the room. And from that, as I became aware of that, I'd begin to think, why is that angel here? Lord, I thank you for a grace to perceive the presence of your angelic beings in Jesus' name. And I began to discern their, their, their presence in my house. So the Lord opened your eyes to the discerning of spirit, to the discerning of his holy angels in Jesus' name. Also, in terms of uh, hearing, there's a saying, lend me your ear. And I believe that in the month of March, people physically are going to begin to trust you. They're going to say, hey, look, you know, can I have your ear? They're going to want to be whisper some things. So it's, an, it's a month where people will trust you with confidential things people will be able to begin to trust you but also psalm 25 verse 14 says the secret of the lord is with those who fear him so the lord is also going to be whispering things into your ear just like he called um Samuel, when Samuel was a young boy, and he said to Samuel, he said, I, I want to tell you about my problems with Eli, so also the Lord is looking for people in whom he can confide. And in receiving the things that the Lord lets you know, also receive wisdom on how to monitor, on how to steward what is being shared to you in Jesus' name. Then also, as I meditated on this, I saw that somebody was being healed from a, a physical condition affecting your eyes and your ears. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I release your healing power to that eye, to that ear, right now, in Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' name, receive healing in the name of Jesus to the glory of God. Then also... There's a part of our ear that we don't see. It's called the inner ear, where you have uh, the, 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 the the ossicles, whatever they're called there, they're, and they're responsible for balance. They're on the inner ear. And I see balance being restored emotionally to somebody. I see balance being restored in relationships. I see that where you have been uh, at, the, at, the, at the bad edge of a balance, I see that God is releasing balance. He's restoring balance to you, to your core friendships, your relationships, to your life, relate to your life. Balance is being restored in Jesus' name. Then also, uh, we are warned to be careful what we hear. So there's some instances, possibly in the month of March, where somebody may want to say something to you, but it's either inappropriate or it's just something that's just it's just not going to bless you. It's just no good. And at such time, you need to be able to say, hey, look, I, do you mind? I'd rather not hear that in Jesus' name. And then lastly, in the same way, also guard what you see. Because when you see something, it creates an image in your mind which can haunt you for years. So guard your eye gate, guard your ear gate, and have a great and blessed month. Here's Prince for his section of the word for March. Glory to God.
Hello, happy March. So, Father God, may I not speak any word you don't want me to speak. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, March, I'll start with James 1, verse 4 to 8. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like the wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. So what my dad was saying about balance ties into the word I got. And so I saw, like in a fraction, you've got the denominator and your numerator. So you've got one and two in like a fraction of half. I saw God aligning the numbers so that no longer would it be five sevenths, we'll be seven sevens. You know, we'll be full and complete in everything we do. And I saw it's a month of becoming becoming the men and women of God that we're supposed to be, becoming who God wants us to be. It was like a time of developing a backbone, that God wants us to become the real deal through and through. And so I felt this month of March will be extra pliable in the sense that we'll really feel, Holy Spirit's opening us up to really feel the weight of our actions, our words and our thoughts. So, you know, if you want to be healthy if you start eating right and you start sleeping on time you'll really feel those effects and that's just a simple way um, that will be illustrated in our lives that you know if what you if you want to be more positive if you want to have a greater impact onto the world around you when you start going out of your way to be kinder to say nice things You'll really, you yourself, everyone else will, but you yourself will see and will feel the impact, you know, the weight of your actions. And I felt it's going to be a great time of tasting and seeing that the Lord is good. And um, you have to be careful this month. We really have to be careful in what we're doing, what we're saying. As Dad was saying about um, the gates of our eyes and our ears, you know, they're gates to our soul. And in the sense that being pliable is that if we are lazy, that will also shine through. And we don't want a warped spine. We want to be strong and pure and outgoing in what we do. So, Father God, thank you for this month of March. Thank you for helping us to be wise in how we live. Be very careful in how we live. Not as unwise, but as wise making the most out of every opportunity as you say so in the word thank you that we will have the pure and faultlessly strong upright backbone you want us to have so that we'll be the real deal through and through in every area of our lives in jesus name amen amen god bless you well done son i also just felt um i was just seeing for someone um and maybe a group of people, but someone in particular, like the story of, is it Balaam with the donkey? I felt for someone, they'd been pursuing something that you may have wanted. So this month of um, March as well, be open to change. And don't be so stubborn in releasing something if it's not working. Because I felt for some of us, we may be pursuing something with our whole beings I'm wondering why it's not working and thinking that we can just will it to work. And God wants us to take a step back and examine our lives and see is what we're doing in alignment with his word and with his will. That we can read through scriptures and we can see is this in the Bible? Is this godly? Is this righteous? And if not, we have to... Trust in him and just let it go so that he can correct our lives for us. So, have Amen. a blessed month. Amen. In Commit Jesus your name. way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will bring it to pass. God bless you, son. Thank you. Thank God bless you, you all. Happy have a great month. God bless.